Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial, otherwise known as bucket plugin tutorials. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion of one you'd like to see or need help on, um, first of all, do a quick search on my channel. I've do, done over 100 of these. Make sure it's one I haven't done yet. Otherwise, post it below. I'll capture it and give you a shout out when I do that. Like this week is Cactus Crate brought to you by Cooked Pies and Fun Agro Gamers. Yes. So this is kind of like a loot crate is, is uh, I guess, the, the best definition of it. But there's like three of them that I've seen. Um, they're all not really downloaded or very popular yet. And uh, I really liked this one. It's made by Dino Sars. It's very easy, straightforward. There's not a whole lot of in-game commands for setup. Um, it's done all in the config file. But that's fine because I like config files. So anyway, the permissions before we get into it, the permissions are um, cactuscrate.create.info.open and .buy. I think are probably the basic ones that you'd want to give your users to be able to modify, get the list of crates and open them and all that stuff. Maybe you only want to give donors the ability to buy certain crates. You can even configure the uh, permission mode node even further with cactuscrate.by.create name, which I'll show you guys in the config file. It's really neat. And then the admins, you probably want to do cactuscrate.give or .give all. We'll go over the commands towards the end. Um, like I said, this is done all in the uh, configuration file. So let's go ahead and hop in. I'll show you guys how to create these crates. Okay, so here we are. Here's our server We're in the plugins folder. You drop your cactus crate dot, dot jar in there. Creates this when you start your server. Now here's all the files that you need. Now, like I say, if you guys don't know, I suggest you use Notepad++. It's fantastic it'll let you view a lot of this stuff and it'd be a lot easier to see um maybe not this part but you can modify your your help file to be whatever you want your info file your pre-info and your config file so in the config files something to note actually let's just open up the config.yml Something to note, the author doesn't use the Minecraft colors, you know, the ampersand and then the number or the letter. He uses these custom ones, um, which are like these squiggly brackets and then the, the color, which I'll put a link in the jibbles to the page that shows all of those colors that you have available as well as some of the variables which are not in here but you can change what the prefix looks like this is what shows up before every command or announcement or anything like that so right now it just says cactus crate so you can change the colors to be whatever you want you can change it to be your server name all that stuff and then here's all the um, messages that you might get in the in this um so we're gonna i love it when they they give that option because it lets you really customize the plugin to be what you want so now this is the one that you want create.yml we'll go back to this one right here like i said use notepad plus plus and make this a lot easier and i'll tell you the truth you actually don't even need this video to do this because the author has done such a fantastic job of commenting and explaining his config file it's it's great so shout out to you dinosaurs this is fantastic and he really encourages you to use your imagination because you can do a lot of stuff with this plugin wow so the first part at the top is he shows you an overview of an example crate and uh, since it's these pound signs or hashtags, if you're younger, in front of it, uh, this means that it's commented out and the the plugin doesn't see these. But anyway, you got your crate name. You have buy enabled. Can they buy it? True or false? Um, the cost of it. Do they need the permission to buy it? Which is the uh, cactus crate dot buy dot crate name. Is it physical? So what that means is, do they actually have an item in their inventory when given to them, or do they need to find it in the commands uh they'll if they do cactus crate dot info they would be able to see all the cactus crates that they have i really like the physical i think it's really neat it makes it really simple straightforward and easy to use so i highly recommend just using the physical and then what's the item name if you are using a physical you can use the item name or the id i'll put a link to the proper minecraft names as well in the jibbles so be sure to check that out otherwise use just the id that works too and then 
what's the name over that item when they're holding it um, as you kind of saw that as I was scrolling back and forth it had the name there and then if you hover over it, what's what's the item lore what shows up there is line two, one two and three and then the GUI so what this means GUI stands for graphical user interface this means that when they open that crate does it open as um, does it just put the items directly in their inventory or does it open it up so it shows them what they got and all that I liked the GUI. I think it's really cool. Adds a little bit more configuration because you need to figure out the item that is displayed and the name and the little lore over it. But that's fine. So now here's where the chances come in. So Cactus Crate, like Loot Crate or, or uh, some of the other ones out there, what it does is they can buy these crates. I probably should have explained this earlier, but they can buy these crates and then they have a, a chance at getting certain items that is in that crate. Um, so the number is the chance. It's a one in whatever chance. So if you do a one in one, that's a hundred percent. If you do one in five, one divided by five is uh, twenty. I think that's twenty percent. I'm on the spot with the math here, but um, yeah. So just do one divide by whatever, and then that's the percentage of chance that they get. And then the player message is what is shown when they get that, and then the display item that's what's shown in the GUI when they get that, the detail text, and then the commands are run when they get that. All right, so that was really quick and easy. Let's scroll down and I'll show you guys a little bit how this works. So here's the example. This is just the crate name is just crate, and then we're going to change this to true because because we want to be able to buy it. I'll also show you guys how to do, do the give and then the cost for it and do they need the permission. So if they need the permission, then it'll be cactuscrate.buy.crate. This is the crate name. Virtual, physical, physical. Now we're going to change this to 20, which is a glass block, just because I think that's cooler and I just want to show you guys how this works. And since we already have a chest uh, for one of these crates but what's the name general crate and that's going to be green as you probably saw earlier and the lore when you're when you're uh, hovering over it and then the GUI this is uh, what's going to show up when they get the reward so here we go here's the one this is 100% chance to get this so everybody's going to receive this when they get this crate and then um, here we go so the display item is all crammed on one line. So the first thing is chest. Now that could be the item ID. So you can change this to be something else. And then you got your name, colon, and then the name of what it's gonna be until the next space, and then the lore. Now if you wanna do the next line on the lore with this, you gotta do the forward slash N4, it looks like. So to do the next line on with the lore, you gotta do forward slash N4. We'll take a look down here farther. So now, uh, 1 in 5 is 20%, 1 in 20 is 5%, and uh, goes on and on. So here we go. Here's the commands that are run when they when they turn in or select this item. They get uh, eco give. This is using essentials um, economy and all that. So it does require an economy plugin as well as vault if you're wanting to give, if, if you need money to buy these or to do all that. So... And then here's Armor Crate, um, which this is an Ender Chest, as you saw earlier, and I'm not really going to go over these, but up here at the top, 1 in 12 chance. So they don't even have, they have a possibility of not getting anything in this crate, which is kind of a jerk move, I think. But here's your Food, cr food Crate as well. Um, I'm not really going to explain that because we kind of went over it. All right, let's hop back in. I'll show you guys how it works in the game. Okay, so here we are. We're back in the game. Um, you can see we got our armor crate and our food crate right here. But what we need to do is we need to reload, re -re reload this because we made some changes to the, the configuration. There we go. And then we're going to do uh, crate by one crate is the name because we made changes to that one and now you can see we got you can see we got a um, a glass block here instead of a chest because that's what we changed it to so when you right click on it it opens it up Ooh, ooh, what was the what was the possibility of that one I'm looking that one up that was a pretty good 
has a 5% chance to get that one. So then what, what your user does is you just click on this and then it gives them their stuff, receive basic package, and it gives them money. And then there we go, we got our diamonds. And then you can see that it's received and then they just jump out of it. So that's really key, really cool. So this is all from later when I was testing or earlier when I was testing. So um, let's see here. If you want to give somebody a crate, you just you would do uh, crate give and then the player name and then the number so how many one and then armor crate and then the crate name so now we have two armor crates you can also give all this one's going to be uh, crate give all you do uh, online offline or all those are the three options you have there so there we go we have all and then uh, one, and then let's just give them crate. So I received that because it was given to everybody. But what else do we got? We got uh, crate info. This is where you can see the number of crates that you have. You can see info on each crate. Crate info crate. Um, now this is supposed to be what you've set up in your configuration file, but it does not seem to be that case. Hopefully the author sees this and I'll comment over it when he fixes that. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's see if we get anything. Oh, we got something already. So we got headgear and pr projectile. Let's see. There we go. So nothing was found on the crate. You have a chance of getting nothing. And then we just got the basic thing of that. So that's it. Like I said, it's pretty simple. It's really neat. Hopefully you guys, it's very configurable. Like it gives you a lot of options. Just the fact that you can run any command that you want um, when you open up a crate. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. So hopefully that was helpful. Feel free to comment any questions. I'll do my best to answer, but you might be better just to post on the author's page. Um, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe below. This is Cos for McFriends reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. The Church of Cos... Hey! Hey! Hey, it's me! The Church of Cos for Christ! Ha <laughs> ha! That's cool. Thank you, Jig. Jigs? <laughs>